we're heading down to the Las Vegas Convention Center to Pizza Expo, where I was able to chat with Anthony Mangieri. Anthony is one of the best pizza makers on the planet and the founder of the legendary Una Pizza Napolitana. Anthony discusses making dough, the opening of his new restaurant in New York City, and even shares some valuable tips for the home pizza maker. Here's Anthony. Albert Grande here, pizzatherapy.com, legendsofpizza.com slash blog. I'm with Anthony Mangieri, one of the most famous pizza makers in the universe, here at Pizza Expo. Anthony, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Anthony, I wanted to ask you, uh, tell me how you got started with Una Pizza Napolitana. Sure. Um, I started in 96. Before that, I had a bread bakery for two or three years. Um, started in New Jersey in Point Pleasant. Uh, and then from that, I opened in New York City in NSF. And now we're about to open back up in New York City. My family's from Naples. I live with my grandmother. That kind of started my, my love for it. And then growing up in New Jersey, I used to go to like Totono's and John's and Grimaldi's and those were the places that started my original love and then from that then I started to fall in love with the stuff in Naples. You're kind of a purist when it comes to pizza. I had heard that you actually gathered the wild yeast for your starter, is that true? Yeah, well I guess that's how you could put it. <laughs> it makes it sound like I'm foraging. Um, yeah, no, the dough has never been made with uh, commercial yeast. It's always been a sourdough or whatever you want to call it, but naturally leavened, yeah, and never refrigerated. Okay. And you mix all your dough by hand? That, no, no. Uh, I started out with the bread bakery all by hand, and the pizzeria was all by hand in New Jersey for about eight years. And then in New York City, it was all by hand until about the last year. And then I switched to a spiral mixer. And then in San Francisco, it was a spiral mixer all the way through with like once a week or once every two weeks or whatever, I would still hand mix just to keep the, the technique. Um, but it has been used in a mixing machine for the last probably like nine years, okay. more or less. You have a real passion, obviously, for what you do. And is it true you only make so much dough during the day? Yes, yes. Uh, that originally started from the hand mixing because, you know, just logistically I could only mix a certain amount of dough by hand. Um, and then the fact that the dough was naturally leavened, it had a time frame on it. So there was no way to really mix enough dough to make it where we could stay open the whole night. We would just naturally, it was where there was a limited amount of dough balls. Um, and then I just kind of stuck with that. It's still the same philosophy uh, with a mixer or without. Um, and so, yeah, I mix, I mix like about, I think the max that I've ever done is like 150 pizzas in one night. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And do you do like a pre-ferment? Do you make the dough the day before? Yeah. So, um, I mean, you know, I don't have like a real set strict thing that I do. I feel like in some ways I had a stricter regimen with the dough when I was in New York City in East Village like nine years ago. Since I moved out to California, I started to really experiment with so many things timing wise texture wise hydration wise flour wise um partially because i think like you know nine years ago there wasn't as much flour to choose from there just wasn't the the, the variety that you could get your hands on also some of the american flours that are being milled now that are geared more towards pizza making, which weren't back then, so that opened up some avenues for me to start playing with like organic flowers. And so I do a pre-ferment, but I mean, it's kind of like the general kind of frame that I'm always in, which changes though often, is I have a starter that I refresh about every 24 hours, and it's mixed fairly firm. It's not as firm as a Biga. Um, and then I take a percentage of that and use it in the final dough and then I mix the final dough and that sits unrefrigerated before I can use it no longer than 24 hours. Right. You know, after 24 hours it just kind of blows up on itself. So for people like me, not as intelligent, so is it a sour dough that you're doing? You could call it that, yeah. I don't, it's not really sour in taste, but like an American uh, way of calling it would be sourdough. Italian is naturally leavened. Right. Your passion is just incredible about pizza and we really appreciate all you have done for the world of pizza. Thanks. I just want to thank you. Thank you. Do you. In closing, can you give me any 
tips for the home pizza maker? Um, mix your dough as wet as you can, even for bread. That, that I think is the best tip. I think if you mix it really wet, you can also, you'll just naturally end up not overworking it, which is I think a problem that a lot of homemakers have when they try to flatten out the pizza, is that elasticity that they end up with. Um, and if it's really wet, you know, you end up with a better whole structure in the crust, just better flavor, you know, that I think is the first key. Okay, and how and can- use, use minimal yeast. That's a big yeah. tip. So if you have a recipe that says to use like a package of yeast, right off the bat, cut that in half and then go from there, Right. you know. And fresh yeast if you can get it? If you can, but I mean some parts of the country that's hard to find, you know, where it, they get it fresh. You know, you might be able to find it, but it's probably not that fresh. So I'm not against like active dry yeast. Okay. You know. And how, now, now that you've opened Una Pizza Napolitana in New York, how can people find you and find Anthony Mangieri in New York City? Uh, we're located at 175 Orchard Street between Houston and Stanton, um, and the name is Una Pizza Napolitana, and our website is unapizza.com. Anthony, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you so much, Anthony. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. You can find Anthony's restaurant, Una Pizza Napolitana, at 175 Orchard Street in New York. They're open Monday through Saturday, 5.30 to 11 p.m. You can find him online at unapizza.com. While you're here, please show some pizza love and subscribe to the Pizza Therapy Channel. Pizza on Earth. Goodwill to all.